Well, guess what, my friend? We will all die. We will all be in a lot of pain. It's all coming our way. It's inevitable. It's part of life. But in the meantime, you might as well be a fucking savage and live your life the way you want to live. And you might as well put your best effort and your best foot forward and train like a motherfucker. Big pecs equal more sex and bigger paychecks. That's why if you lock me in the room with a pec deck, I'll hit so many reps and sets that I'll break my neck. This is Mark Phelps, Supertraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Answering more questions today for the Power Project, brought to you by HowMuchYouBench.net, the only freaking strength magazine in the world, ThePowerMagazine.com. Two questions to bang out today for the Power Project. Question number one is about losing weight. Question number two is about losing weight. Question number one is about losing weight as a power lifter and losing weight to become more competitive. The guy said he's too short. He's too short and too fat. He didn't say he was so fat, but he said he was too fat. Remember the difference between too fat and so fat? Pretty much everybody, everybody listening, including myself, everyone is too fat. We all can afford to lose some chub chub. When you do that, when you pinch your own chub, you have to pinch less than you can actually pinch. Because like if I pinched like a giant like sludge of chub chub, you guys would just be grossed out and be like, I can't believe Mark Bell's got a muffin top like that. Anyway, uh, so too fat is like we can all agree, we can all lose a couple pounds. But so fat is when someone says, oh man, that guy, yeah, I know who you're talking about. That guy's so fat. That's so fat. That's like unbelievably fat that's like when someone when you're walking by and someone goes damn one of those type of things so the question is the guy wants to drop weight and he wants to become more competitive in the 242 pound weight class currently he's 275 to 308 so he's probably like normally like 290 probably struggles to get down to the 275 pound weight class so in general just for everybody not just for this chub chub guy uh, for everybody in general, when you're losing weight, you're going to lose strength. There is no way around it. And I know someone's gonna be like, oh, what about so-and-so? He lost 15 pounds and he gained 20 pounds in his deadlift. I'm just talking about overall strength. You're going to lose some strength uh, when you're training for powerlifting and you're dropping body weight. You're always, you are always better off gaining weight in your mission to be stronger than you are losing weight. Somebody like uh, Dan Green, somebody like uh, some of these guys are hitting these big totals. Uh, Kevin Oak, Kevin Oak recently broke the 220 record. And you know, they're, they're diving down uh, big time in body weight to hit uh, world record totals. Uh, but keep in mind, these guys are professionals. They really know what they're doing. They've been at it a really long time. Plus they've already gained, they've already obtained a certain amount of strength and then a drop in weight going into the meat. But I would even say with them, if they just allowed themselves to be, could you imagine what Kevin Oak would lift if he just allowed himself to go into a competition and weigh 265 or 270? Um, so you're always better off being a little heavier. When you're going to lose weight, you gotta be realistic that you're going to lose some strength. Now you said particularly your goal, you said you're around 1,800 pound total now, and you wanna to get to a 1,900 pound total. That's totally fine. It's totally manageable, but what you're gonna to have to realize is it's just gonna take you a long time. If you're gonna to try to gain 100 pounds on your total, 100 pounds on your total is a lot of weight. That is a lot of weight. Pick up a 100 pound dumbbell, that's a lot of weight. Um, 100 pounds on your total is gonna to probably take you two years. It might even take you a little longer. So I would kind of map it out, and I'd map out how many contests that you wanna do over the next several months, over the next year, over the next year and a half. And uh, you know, usually competitions come around your area every, every so often, maybe once a year. Uh, a competition will pop up every April that you go to. So when you go to that contest this year, you hit X total. When you go to it uh, again, uh, another year from now, you hit Y total. Maybe you work your way towards that 1,900 pound total. But please keep in mind that it's going to take time. There's no real magic diet, in my opinion, of, of how to go about losing that weight. Um, I myself have always liked keto style diets to drop weight, but again, when you drop weight, you will lose strength. 
When I did keto style diets, I didn't lose strength because I didn't have any energy. I lost strength because my body wasn't as big anymore. Uh, with carbohydrates, carbohydrate, it is hydrating your body, hydrating your muscle, allowing your body to hold in more water and allowing yourself to be bigger. Something to always keep in mind with any diet that you try to follow is that you want your diet to enhance your workouts. If you think about, if you think about that, if you think about that simple way of uh, fueling yourself and to achieving strength, if you think about if, if my diet maximizes my training, I'm gonna get to where I wanna be more faster, right? So that's what you wanna try to think about. Now, a keto diet would probably be kinda out the window in those terms. Keto diets, you know, after doing them for several years and on and off and stuff like that, uh, I now am a firm believer that they're better used in uh, small uh, spurts and they're better used for a period of time. Uh, they can be still be used for kind of a long duration of like two, three months, um, but with an exit strategy to move on and to move into something else if you are a strength athlete. I know there's some guys out there that, that function really, really well on low carb, but why bother when there's other ways to lose weight, be muscular and be strong? Uh, you might as well have the carbohydrates in your system because as I mentioned earlier, they're gonna help you. Um, so that answers your question. Now for the other guy, his question was about plateauing. And he didn't know whether he should track carbs. He didn't know whether he should track fat. He didn't know whether he should track his protein. He didn't know whether he should do cardio. He said that he's been on a plan for a little while, didn't say how long, but he said he's been on a plan for a little while and he's no longer losing any body fat. I think we've all been there before. We've all been frustrated. We've all, not only frustrated, but the conf amount of confusion that goes on can be ridiculous. What I would suggest to you is the, the first thing that you have to do is you have to make sure, and this everyone says this, this is the worst thing ever, but you have to be honest with yourself. Are you really putting your best foot forward? Are you, are you really putting in your best effort? Or are you kind of kidding yourself? Are you eating uh, a bowl of ice cream every night? Are you eating cereal every night before you go to bed? I'm not saying those things are unhealthy. I know the if it fits your macros, people are gonna attack. Um, but uh, I'm just saying, are you going off your diet? Are you not following your plan that religiously? If you're having trouble following your plan, then that's uh, the start of your new diet is to follow your plan more strict, more strictly. Make sure that you are uh, doing your best, doing, doing your absolute best to follow whatever specific diet it is that you're on. The other thing that I would, I would recommend is don't be afraid to hire a coach. There's a lot of great coaches out there. My boy Silent Mike helps people. My boy Omar Isaf helps people uh, with diet and both programming. Um, my boy Jesse Burdick helps people. Uh, there's, the list goes on and on. Lane Norton. Lane Norton is one, uh, one of the top uh, nutrition guys in the game, in, in my opinion and uh, he's gonna help get you results really fast. There's a lot of people that you can go to, you can kind of pick your flavor, and uh, you can kind of look into some of these people and see uh, you know, what they have to offer, but when, when you pick a coach, that coach is going to uh, make, you, you know, make you work towards your goal. They're gonna put everything they can into making sure that you are gonna get the results the fastest that you possibly can get them. Um, should you track your carbs? Should you track your fat? Should, yes, you should probably start to track everything. It would be a good idea if you're not going to hire a coach, it'd be a good idea to get a basis of how many freaking calories are you taking in per day. Uh, maybe just track your calories over the next three or four days and see what you come up with. Um, now, you know, you could, you could always make the argument that when someone wants to get stronger or they want to get bigger and they feel stuck, they could always just try something slightly different. So, if you're eating high carbs, maybe you lower your carbs. Uh, if you're eating high fat, maybe you lower your fat. You know, it's just whatever you're currently doing is not working. It's not working the way that you want, and that's why you asked the question. So uh, why not kind of look at it and say, well, maybe I should just try something a little different. Maybe I should shift gears here for a little bit. Uh, there's, you know, adding more exercise is... Uh, is an okay idea. It's a good concept, if, especially if you're lazy bones and you don't move around a whole lot. Um, 
but uh, that's not always the best place to start. I think the best place to start is to make sure that you are uh, on track with your nutrition, make sure that you're actually following a plan and make sure you're following through with that plan and make sure that you are also in your training. There's little tricks that you can do in your training uh, to help you lose weight more faster. So you can simply do um, some supersets. You can, uh, you know, you can do a, um, a circuit at the end of a training session. You can jump rope and you can do pull-ups and you can do push-ups and you can do three or four rounds of that at the end of the workout. It's going to uh, increase your metabolic rate a little bit. It's going to help you burn a little bit more calories. So you can kind of shift towards a little bit of that stuff. You don't have to not strength train. Um, I've had people quit my gym before because they want to lose weight, which is always really funny and, and kind of weird. But power, the difference between powerlifting and bodybuilding is in the nutrition. <laughs> Powerlifters a lot of times eat whatever they want and sometimes they look like it and bodybuilders don't. Bodybuilders follow something more strict. They typically, a typical bodybuilding style diet is, is lowish in fat and uh, uh, very, uh, very high to moderate carbohydrates and the same thing with the protein. Um, those diets have been around forever. They, they work really well. It's a good thing to kind of look into some of that. Uh, but the, the point is, is whatever it is that you're currently doing isn't currently working so great. If you don't have a coach, look into a coach, look into switching things up a little bit. And remember, last but not least, strength is never a weakness and that is it from Super Training Gym. All right, you just saw episode 9,487 of The Power Project. If you're enjoying The Power Project, make sure you click the like button. Also, leave your comments below. If you have questions for The Power Project, throw your questions down below. Also, coming up this Monday at 7 a.m. Pacific time, we're releasing a video of Brian Shaw doing a huge PR deadlift. The deadlift that he performs in this video is amazing. It's a regular deadlift from the floor. That's what they're gonna be doing at this year's Arnold Classic. Speaking of the Arnold Classic, I'm booth 1913. I'll be there with Silent Mike, Filipino Thunder, Jim McD. The whole crew is gonna be there. My brother's gonna be there. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome time. Make sure you stop by the booth. We're also supporting the USAPL powerlifting meet and the pro deadlift contest that they're having. So check all that fun stuff out. Make sure you come by the booth. Check out all the crap that we're selling. We're selling strong sleeves. We're selling slingshots. We're selling wrist wraps. All kinds of stuff. Make sure you're there. And that is it from Super Training Gym. Bye -bye.